All right, you ready for the next one? Yeah, I guess. Hit me with it. All right. Have you ever seen a baby pigeon? What? Have you ever seen a baby pigeon? No. You know why? It's because when they come out of the egg, they're... they're... Nope. <laughs> why? Nope. Because pigeons aren't real. Pigeons are government spy drones. That's why you never see baby pigeons. The government just, they have, I think that they probably, what? this is probably what they do. Well, I have several theories of what they do in Area 51. But I think Area 51 could be, maybe one section of it, could be where they take, they make all these pigeons, <clears throat> they make all their little spy drones, and they release them out, and then they land on the buildings, and they land everywhere, and they're just constantly picking up all of our information. So every pigeon is a spy bird? No, probably half. Three say, quarters. I was gonna say because there was one time. Eh, maybe all. There was one time I was walking. Uh, unbeknownst to me, there's a a whole bunch of pigeons above me. I was just cruising, right? I was just cruising down the sidewalk, and uh, the U.S. government pigeon took a dookie on my face. <laughs> <laughs> so that was some pretty real stuff. Like from well, I mean, it, it could they could still do that. Uh, what? They could make it to do that. Why would they make a? They could have like a pigeon? like a little like a little balloon bladder in there that they could just. Whenever I tasted it, it tasted like poop. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know it wasn't just really old mayonnaise? Have you ever tasted really old mayonnaise? I hate mayonnaise, so I feel like I would know. It, well, so you don't know. What well, did you like it when you tasted it? No. <laughs> it was chocolate. <laughs> so. Uh, so man, so you hate it just like you hate mayonnaise. Mm. I wouldn't put it on a sandwich. <laughs> exactly. So they probably have a, like a little balloon bladder in there, and they just. But it's warm. It's warm. Well, you don't think that they have the technology to keep it warm? And it was probably summertime. What happens if I? Sm- There's one time. No, never mind. We can't talk about that. <laughs> You killed one? On accident. It ran into one of my pellets. <laughs> <laughs> I was shooting at the sun, it and was, then it crossed my it was path. very much so not a robot. But did you actually cut it open to see what the insides looked like? Because, here's the other thing. They might not be 100% robots. They might just be... They might... The Area 51 could just be where they keep all of the pigeons and that's where that's the breeding ground and then once they're born and they get big enough that they can fly and carry this equipment that they embed inside them that is when the government takes them and fills them with the electronics so they could still be a living bird but still have all the equipment to pick up all of our information so this conspiracy theory that you have brought to my attention (laughs) Is that something that people actually believe? That's an actual thing. You didn't just make it up. Right. There is a percentage of the population that thinks that there are freaking robot pigeons flying around collecting our information. A very large percentage. A large percentage. I would say 60%. <laughs> that is an inflated number. I know there are a lot that, of... That, that was a condensed number. I know that there are a lot of <laughs> weird people in this world, but 60%... I think that I think technically the research showed at least ninety six percent believed the truth, which is that pigeons are robots. <laughs> <laughs> so that leaves four of us, four percent of us normal humans. No, just four. Just four. <laughs> so they did, they did a study of a hundred people, and you, four of them like this is crap. <laughs> you guys are you guys are ignorant. The other ninety six are like you guys are. The, You're wrong. And then the rest of them beat up those four outside of, outside of the testing facility. Got it. All right. Well, that's a that's a swell one. I like that one. <laughs> I did not. I was not expecting that something that hard. So so quickly. so you're not believing that the pigeons absolutely 100 percent not. That is false. Fake news. Do you believe there could be any animals that the government would be using to spy on us? No. Why not? Because they have every other way to spy on us. Like our phones. 
I don't. Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> if you say something weird over PlayStation and Xbox Live, certain keywords I can't say them because they might come after me. <laughs> but if but at say, least they can't protrude your thoughts. If you say certain facts, if they if you say certain things online, they can track you down and they will. So watch what you say online. <laughs> don't be mean. So, what if? You were, say, like mowing your grass and you were talking to yourself and you didn't have a cell phone. That's where the pigeons would come in to pick up what you're saying. I understand that, but do you think that the pigeons could depict you, what you're saying, rather than the <laughs> of your lawnmower? Yes. Mm. You know what kind of technology they have out there? Mm-hmm. No, I don't, actually. Apparently not. Cause if you never heard of like noise-canceling headphones? Yes. But it's not, yeah, but that goes around your ear to cancel the noise. What if they could just, no, can the they, one, they just cancel no, the, ones, the world? Yeah, the ones that cancel outside, like background noise. Like a, like a Bluetooth headset that can, cancels out background noise. I would love, like, do they actually make those? Yeah, did you know that, that's, make, a, that's a legitimate thing. Did you thing. know that they make a washer and dryer combo? What do you mean? Like your washer? Like the same machine? Yes. Yeah. What? Yeah. You knew that? Yeah. Someone asked me because... I've heard that they're not very good though. I work at Home Depot too because, you know, you boys got to eat. So, <laughs> some lady came over and was like, hey, you have like a washer-dryer combo? I'm like, yeah, over here. <laughs> and you're like, what? I was like, yeah, over here. It's like, it's like not really like a combo, like a set. It's like, here's a washer, here's a dryer. <laughs> She's like, no, like the combo. Like, you're, you're still at a dumb, like it's a combo meal. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, we have a combo. One here, one here. Yeah, I was like, yeah, this is the combo. They come together. Like, one, here's the washer, and here's the dryer. She was like, no, like one machine, it's a washer and a dryer. I was like. Was she real, like, snooty like that? Yeah, I was like, I'm sorry. They don't make those. She was like, <laughs> yeah, they do. I was like, no, they don't. And then so I went to ask them, but it's like, yeah, we make those. I'm like. Well, nobody informed me. I was like, okay. That's obviously not like, it's not very good yet. It's not yeah. very well thought I out. I mean, I heard about them. Um, Did you know they have a, a Roomba lawnmower? Yes. I thought about buying one. Dude, they're like three grand. Well, I wasn't, the one I was looking at wasn't that much. That's a Husqvarna. Yeah. They, I mean, they make, I'm sure they make expensive ones that'll actually work really good. But the the one I was looking at was like, Three, it wasn't much more than a brand new lawnmower. It's like 300, maybe 350. But it had like, instead now of like those, blades, it had like a weed eater head. Those might be able to, you know, tune in on you because it's convenient. Roomba in the house, it maps my house. You mean Roomba in the house, not Roomba in the yard? And Roomba in the yard, too. It ma- maps out your property, sees what you do. It's got the little. It nav- could, if it's in the grass, it would pick up on your footprints so it would know which, which paths you walk in your grass. Like, it can like navigate through like stuff. So like, maps memory maps your lawn knows your edges and then next thing you know it's mapping your life next thing you know people are stealing all your stuff what it would map out your entire property so whenever the government came to get you they would already have the map of your entire house boom dude <sighs> big over good here. thing i don't have a roomba i had a roomba <laughs> did, did you not anymore though i don't need it the uh all i was gonna say um, you're talking about these washer and dryer combos. I have also seen, it's like a washer and dryer combo, like one on top of the other, but like one piece and like the washer's on top. And then whenever it gets done, it automatically drops everything into the dryer. That's genius. Like, like a hatch that just drops. I everything need that. Drops. You know why? Cause I get, just get so caught up in like, you, you forget Fortnite <laughs> that I'll set my thing to wash clothes for like an hour and then I go back the next day and like, <laughs> my clothes smell like mildew and I was like oh god now I gotta waste another seven gallons of washing my clothes again and then you I don't do have, it. you don't have to wash them just put them in the dryer <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> so you walk around smelling like a sweaty bag of like trash <laughs> so it's like no I'm good I had, a, I had a load of laundry that I was trying to wash for like three days one time because I kept forgetting about it <laughs> Is that why it smells like that in here? <laughs> it smells amazing in here. Yeah. It smells like anti-government in here. That's what it smells like. I gotta make sure this is still sharp. No, it's good. Is whenever it starts vibrating, that means that they're trying to get in. But is that is that your brain asking, screaming for help? 
I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't confirm either way. <laughs> I don't want to give any hints. All right, so you don't believe that the pigeons are spy drones. No. You don't believe that there's any animals that are spying on us through the government. No. 